everyone, Scott here from IGN, and I am with Luke and Hannah, not Arnie, Hannah, <laughs> <laughs> from Black Sails, uh, the new pirate show for stars. Uh, can you just tell me a bit, because we haven't, no one has seen an episode yet of the show, but it's getting a lot of buzz. Can you tell us a bit about who you're playing in the show? Yeah, so I'm playing a character called John Silver. So this is who is the character Long John Silver from Treasure Island, but this is about 20 years before that book. Uh, and I actually start the show not as a pirate, but as a sailor on a merchant vessel, which gets taken over by Flint's crew. So kind of we get to see the introduction of this pirate world through Silver's eyes. Um, and I play a very spirited young woman called Eleanor Guthrie. And she is what they call the fence. So she takes in pirate goods and she sells them back to merchant ships. Um, and for that reason, she's kind of the main political and economic power on the island. And the pirates kind of have to vie for her favour. And who she al allies herself with is kind of uh, very influential in, in, in who actually manages to go out and search for the biggest prizes. So, yeah. And she, um, she has a bigger vision for the community? Oh, uh, yeah. Track? Yeah, definitely. She's kind of... Uh, she's, she's very determined to make this place a, a functioning society, a, a civil society that doesn't have to answer to Whitehall or, you know, the, you know, the powers that be in, in, in Britain. And I think she has visions for these people and, and um, she just wants it to be a society where each man can kind of succeed by their own merits. And I think um, it's a really interesting historical context because it's kind of the beginning of capitalism as we know it. Yeah. And, um, you know, why the individual has kind of come to be, uh, you know, a thing that we all kind of aim for our, our personal successes in life so right exactly yeah um, now we saw you in the um, they, uh, s they played the first six minutes of the sh first episode yeah. for the comic-con crowd yesterday and we saw you in some sort of action and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah basically yeah <laughs> it's really a d I mean it's almost it's a cinematic um, level action oh, yeah. scene yeah. with the pirate vessels uh, fighting each other um, can and by the end of the scene, you sort of meet your new captain, is what, yeah, what yeah. happens. Can you tell me a bit about your dynamic with the captain? And what's your relationship? Well, obviously, there, you know, in, in this show, there's a mixture of uh, historical, like real historical people and characters from Treasure Island. And obviously, uh, Flint and Silver is kind of the central relationship. You know, Flint's gone by the time we get to Treasure Island, it's his treasure we're after. But it really is a, the Flint Silver relationship is really fun. I'm kind of the newbie on the ship. And it's, it's kind of this slow burn of the relationship. Uh, I think Flint has kind of always been the smartest guy in the room. That's how he holds his captaincy. That's why he's so respected and feared. Uh, and that's kind of until Silver comes along. He's kind of the new character who lives by his wits rather than by the sword. And it kind of means they often need each other, but are often the most dangerous to each other as well. Sure, yeah. Well, it's a great partnership, though, too, right? Oh, absolutely. And working with Toby Stevens, who is just such a fantastic actor. Uh, you know, when you get to ha getting to do those scenes, you know, gets an actor of his caliber is just a dream. Yeah. yeah. And you guys actually, the show hasn't aired yet, mm. but you already have a season two a green light for season two yeah. what's that like i mean it's amazing it's incredible that you know when we were kind of shooting it you're kind of like in a little bubble of of this storyline and and what we're producing is is kind of a very epic story so as we were kind of shooting season one we were like wow you know this this is a a story in itself that can be told in isolation but then all of a sudden you see that the, all these other kind of storylines are creeping in and, and I think I have seen the finale sequence of I haven't seen I've only seen episode one I haven't seen anything else but um, you know it does really leave you asking a lot of questions and I think you know when we finished that and we kind of all we left and we were all kind of going how does this resolve itself and I think none of us have seen any any scripts for season two so we're all just like chomping at the bit to know, <laughs> know how the hell this kind of resolves <laughs> right. itself yeah I think on this press tour uh, I was actually lucky enough to see most of season one and it is a thing where uh, as a it's not only as an act like an actor in the show but as a viewer I want I need another season one more. I think the show just gets better and better as it goes on mm -hmm. and I'm glad that you know stars and the producers think so because uh, we're just having a ball yeah. out there yeah. Last question. I have to ask it. Your leg. Long John Silver <laughs> in the leg. What's yeah. Well, that? look, I, I begin with two legs in the show. I uh, And as yet, you know, I'm keeping them both for a little while. Okay. I don't know how That's it's going to happen. The thing is, in the book, we hear some stories about how he lost the leg, but they come from Silver's own mouth, which you can't believe a word of. So right. it's still really going to be uh, up to the writers about uh, how that big moment happens. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming by. Thank and uh, can't Thank wait you. to see the show.